Let's take a closer look at the Funko Pop vinyl figure of Harrison Doolet in her X-Wing Starfighter. Villa Veracino, living the Star Wars life. Hello there, and thanks for visiting the Villa Veracino YouTube channel. Today I'm going to take a look at this really cool Funko Pop vinyl figure of Harrison Dula in X-Wing Starfighter. So this one has just hit store shelves here in New Zealand. We're very, very excited. To be honest, we don't have very many of the larger Starfighter vehicles from the Funko range. I do like vehicles from Star Wars, but they do take up a bigger space and they do tend to be a little bit higher priced here in New Zealand, so we don't have as many as we would like. This one is less than the price of two standard Funkos for us here in New Zealand, which we thought was a great price for something of this scale. As you can see, it has the special edition foil sticker here on the front, and this one also has a separate sticker saying Hyperspace Heroes. This seems to be this new line featuring Star Wars characters in their starships, so very, very cool. Take a closer look at the packaging before we open it up. We've got a black border with this interesting sort of yellow trim around it. Seems to tie into this Hyperspace Heroes sticker there on the front. I'll just show that one closer up. It's got a very faint hyperspace background to that sticker and that classic silver foil special edition Funko sticker there as well. Nice big window on the side where we can see that there is going to be a two-part inner box holding her in place. We can see a very cute render image there of the Funko figure. Hera with her helmet and an X-Wing fighter. Very cool. Very large Star Wars logo there. You can see this is number 642. Here again, another picture of Hera in the X-Wing with another window. And on the top, very similar again, Hera in her X-Wing and a nice big window there. I do like that this is one of those harder cardboard boxes. This one arrived to us in the mail. It's nice and crisp. It's firm. It feels like the sort of thing that's not going to be too damaged. Some Funko boxes, the edges, particularly around the windows, are a little bit prone to bending. Ours arrived nicely and I feel like if you wanted to keep this one in its box, I think it would display well. Personally for me, I prefer not to have these second bubbles kind of over the top because you can kind of see there's a little bit of distortion from the plastic so I can't really see the figure inside. For us personally we do like to open up our Funko, we do keep the boxes of course, so now I'm going to take it out so we can take a closer look at the figure inside. I'm really excited about this one so let's get stuck in and open it up. I'm going to open it up from the top here with this big, I'm trying to get this one in so I'm not going to crinkle it too much. There we go. Okay, we can see that large sort of big plastic bubble in here. Slides out nice and easily. And if I just pop that back in, we can see that the background has a faint hyperspace pattern there on that black insert. The rest of the internal cardboard is brown, not very aesthetic there. But anyways, let's get stuck in and pop this one out. We have a two-part bubble here, so that one just popped off very easily. And let's lift this out and pop that one there in the back. So, oh, she looks so cool. Okay, so this one has a different style base. I could just see it through the box, but we've got this sort of polygon base here rather than the circles that we have on the standard Funko Star Wars line. We do still have the Star Wars logo there on the front. This is printed in white, fairly straight here on this example. We can see that we have some clear or pretty well clear uh, posts here holding up the X-Wing in flight. We have three, two shorter ones at the back, a taller one in the front. It gives it a really good sort of in-flight mode because this one has the uh, foils open in sort of flight mode, attack position. I think that's sort of what a lot of people consider to be a classic X-Wing shape, of course, with the wings open. She is a great bobblehead. And of course, what might not be visible in the box is we have a little chopper here in the back. So he doesn't have too many sort of details. He's mostly orange. We've got some yellow and green details there. We've got some really cool paint job on the X-Wing itself. We've got some weathering, sort of a wash over the dark grey sort of beigey tones of 
this X-Wing. We've got dark gray accents here on the back, on the engines, along here. We've got some interesting color accents as well. I really like. There is a reasonable number of painted details here, which I like. I'm always wor worried that these things will look a little bit plain when you take them out of the box. We can see a little bit closer of some of the weathering effects here. Very cool. Overall looking pretty tidy. So let's take a look at Hera herself. Sometimes it can be hit and miss with the faces and the paint jobs of these figures. So just as a cursory glance, I can see a couple of paint flaws here. Um, we can see there are some small dings. I'll try and get the camera to focus on them here and here. Little tiny ones, kind of what I've come to expect from Funko. Face on, they're not too noticeable. We've got a nice clear visor. We can see her face there through it. She bobbles very well. I think that's fun. We've got a fairly detailed paint job here on the top with these sort of broken TIE Fighter logos here. I am uh, pretty sure that this is how she appears in the final series of Rebels, where we see her pilot in X-Wing. We've got another flaw here on her Leku there. There's like a sort of like a patch of plastic that has been uh, painted over. You can see it's kind of a bit raised there. I do like that they have included the patterns on her leku there, those white circles. That's always an important detail on Hera figures for me. There is a little bit of sort of glue residue um, at the corners of her visor here. It gives it a little bit of a cloudy effect, particularly when it is uh, on the surface as opposed to on the underside where it should be. Um, but I've come to sort of expect a little bit of uh, variability when it comes to the quality of Funko product these days. Not too bad on the top, pretty clean. Just those few sort of minor scuffs, primarily on the back. Um, so I don't think, depending on how you display it, if you display it front on, it's not too bad. And honestly, it's not a major, major floor. This one is probably the one that I would think would stand out the most to collectors. Um, but because of this double bubble sort of packaging, it's hard to really get a clear view. And especially if, like us, you order online, you don't get to see the item in question before it arrives. Overall, it doesn't look broken. It's got pretty good paint details. I like the details here on the wings. I think these, they almost look like they could move, but they don't they are fixed in place. I think this is really really quite cool. I think this is pretty good for the price point considering how much plastic is here. This one is a lot cheaper for us here in New Zealand than the Bounty Hunter collection that just basically were standard Funko figures on a basically a little grey flat base with a little bit of wall behind them. They were very expensive here in New Zealand, nearly three times the price of a standard Funko. Like I said, this one is cheaper than two Funko, and considering the amount of plastic we've got here, I think that that is pretty reasonable. Uh, knowing that Hera is pretty popular right now with her appearance in the Ahsoka series, we didn't want to wait on this one, and I love collecting the women of Star Wars. She's one of my favorite characters. I really wanted to be able to add this one to my collection so very excited I was able to get her and I think she looks very very cool I love that she's got chopper there in the back overall I think this is pretty cool just taking a closer look it's a little bit dark but we can see that she's got a sort of a red colored flight suit in there with some brown gloves white vest black painted details for her chest box detail in there it is very dark and small but those details do look pretty good up close to my eyes as best as I can see in person they look pretty good no sort of detail in the cockpit it just kind of looks like she's sinking into a flat base she's kind of cut off at the waist in there there isn't really legs or anything else in there you can kind of get a sense of what that looks like there from the side it's just a flat insert there but nevertheless I wasn't expecting them to have that level of detail she doesn't come out in any way um, but yeah she's so very very cute I like that she bobbles um, and her Twi'lek Leku don't really hit that much um, she can sort of wobble around uh, if I go up and down she kind of nix it there and you can see perhaps during the painting process there is a little bit of pale green on the engine on this one perhaps where it has touched 
during assembly, not on this side. Overall, I think the painting on the X-Wing itself is pretty good. Just those few small flaws on Hera herself, but generally towards the back, not too significant. I'm particularly uh, bothered by uh, major paint flaws on the face, because with these large eyes of the Funko style, it really does draw attention, and at least the glue residue is down the sides, where it already looks a little bit sort of cloudy and obscured because of the attachment points to the helmet, so not too bad there. Overall, I think this is really, really cool. I don't think it takes up too much space on your shelf compared to, say, the Millennium Falcon, uh, but it does feel like a decent size for a Star Wars Starship Funko. Very, very cool. So very excited. I think this is really cool. I know I'm saying gushing about it a lot, but I've been waiting for this one for a while. So excited to finally have it here in person. So there you have it. Hera in her X-Wing Starfighter. I think she looks really cool. Thank you so much for watching my unboxing and mini review. Do check out our other videos for more Star Wars unboxings and adventures. Catch you in the next video. And as always, may the Force be with you. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, check out our other videos, and subscribe for alerts about new uploads. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.